I am man of super and full of kryptonite. I review the Superman and Lois trailer right now. Hey, what's going on everybody? Lee Dickey here, comedian, actor, producer, reviewer, and all around average looking rubber made guy. Yes, I am made of rubber, very elastic -y. All right, today I review the Superman and Lois trailer from the upcoming series, which debuts toward the end of February this year on The CW. Before we get into that, I want to ask you to please hit the subscribe button if this is your first time here. Comment, like, share, follow along on social media, links in the description. Thank you. Okay, now that all the housekeeping is out of the way, let's get into this review of the Superman and Lois trailer right here and right now. So Superman and Lois, this new imagining of the DC Comics property, which is part of the Arrowverse, because this is from the creators of The Flash, which currently airs on The CW. So the series debuts on February 23rd, and by the time you guys hear and see this, it'll be February 2nd, I think, because it, this is coming out on Tuesday. So it'll be February 2nd, that's three weeks from that date that this series will debut on February 23rd. The series stars Tyler Hoechlin, who had a starring role in Teen Wolf. You have Elizabeth Tolach, who is from, probably best known for her role in Grimm. And then the two titular like protagonist children, they're teenage boys, they are played by Jordan Elsass and Alexander Garfin, respectively. So, from what I gather, from watching the trailer, I will link that in the cards and in the description, by the way. From what I gather, Tyler Holton, who plays uh, Clark Kent, Superman, and Elizabeth Tolach, who plays Lois Lane, they're married. Lois and Clark, they're married, and, you know, they're going through the ups and downs like any other sort of, say, middle-aged parent couple. So according to the trailer, as the series kicks off, both Lois and Clark, or Superman, and their children already live in Metropolis. They're already... That's, that's how the series starts. And both Lois and Clark lose their jobs at the Daily Planet, according to the trailer, which I will link in the cards and in the description, because that's how it comes off. Because um, Tolach narrates part of the trailer and she mentions lost jobs and you see a shot of both Hoechlin and Tolach in their respective roles as Clark Superman and Lois Lane walking out of the Daily Planet and then fading to black and then on to the next shot. So, you know, I'm assuming that they already the series starts in Metropolis with both characters losing their jobs at the Daily Planet and then having to sort of start over or having sort of a midlife crisis and just kind of starting from scratch. So, you know, as I said, Lois and Clark, they're both married and it seems like they both lost their jobs at the Daily Planet and they're going to start over from scratch. Now, Tolach, who plays Lois Lane, narrates portions of this trailer and it starts out with her pretty much saying, I, I'm assuming she's talking to Hoechlin, who plays Clark, Kent, Superman, that, like, okay, so they're married, and it's not going the way that at least she would want, or that they both had expected, because they have two teenage sons, they both lost their jobs, I mean, they're going through the ups and downs, like I said, of any sort of couple would, right, and they're, like, middle-aged, obviously, because they have two teenage sons, played by Alexander Garfin and Jordan Elsass, respectively. And apparently the two sons don't know that their father is Superman, right? So how they plan to address that, I don't know. Other than, I guess, Clark wanted to settle down and raise a family. They end up back in uh, Clark's hometown and on the Kent family farm, where I guess Clark plans to start over and kind of bring sort of small town 
homey vibes to his family just to try and raise them in a quiet place and let them have some semblance of a normal life but you know you see bits and pieces of him sort of rediscovering who and i'm talking about clark kent superman played by holson obviously of him you know kind of rediscovering who he is and what he was brought here like what he was basically sent to earth to do and it's cool i mean to see like another side of say superman and the dc property like obviously they had shows like smallville they had lois and clark the new adventures of superman which is in my opinion my favorite version of superman lois and clark the adventures of superman where you had terry hatcher and dean kane respectively along with uh, lane smith who was perry white and uh justin whalen along with a few others you know on that show one of my favorite iterations of superman probably right up there as my favorite love that show and that's how this comes off it's sort of like because it's on the cw and i think smallville aired on the cw back in the day too back in about the uh early to late 2000s because it lasted a long long time i think it went about nine seasons or something like that but the premise that i see because it airs on the cw and they're aiming this towards like pre-teens and teenagers is you get a bit of like lois and clark the new adventures of superman meets smallville and they meet in the middle and they have another sort of dc centric superman filled baby i am willing to give this a watch because i am such a fan of superman and most of the dc comic t uh, like media entertainment verse if you will so i'm willing to watch this because I loved Smallville. I loved Krypton, even though it lasted, what, like two seasons of 20 episodes, so 10 episodes per. I loved it, and so did a lot of other people. But it's a shame it only lasted a couple seasons. And with Hoechlin and Tolach and Garfin and, you know, Elsass coming on board uh, to play, you know, to basically bring this new version of superman and lois to life i'm i'm willing to give it a watch i'm willing to sit down and at least sit through the pilot and if i'm interested i'll watch more you know what i mean i just because it comes off as a bit of smallville meets lois and clark's new adventures of superman from the early to late 90s i think lois and clark the one with dean kane and uh Dean Cain and Terry Hatcher, pardon me, aired from uh, 93 to 97 and was one of my favorite shows growing up because I used to watch that all the time with my parents. And then I got into Smallville, albeit I got into Smallville rather late, but I got into Smallville nonetheless. And Tom Welling did a fantastic job. I mean, I enjoyed, I've enjoyed all iterations of Superman, so I'm willing to give, you know, Superman and Lois a shot. I'm willing to like, put it on my radar i'm willing to give it a watch at least i mean i did watch Kryp krypton a little bit i didn't watch the whole thing i didn't even realize that it you know was a mid-season sort of thing where you get 10 episodes from like march through like may or june and then they'd go away for a year and then come back i i didn't even realize it because i think they just kept switching time slots and i don't know I didn't necessarily necessarily see all of Krypton that I wanted to. But what I did see, I did like. So, I'm willing to give Superman and Lois a watch. Just because I'm a giant fan of Superman and the DC Comics sort of entertainment mediaverse. I'm looking forward to it. The series air premieres as a two-hour event on February 23rd. So, that is... Three weeks from the day this gets released, which will be the 2nd of February. But there it is. I mean, it looks ominous. It looks like Lois and Clark are middle-aged and basically looking to rediscover themselves and find the place for them and their kids and just try and make the best of life as it is in this new series. Well, there it is. There you have it. My thoughts and a review of the Superman and Lois trailer for the upcoming series, which debuts in three weeks. Of course, that trailer will be listed and linked 
in the cards and description. If you would, please comment, like, share, and subscribe to Lee Dickey TV on YouTube. Visit my official website, LeeTDickey.com. Subscribe to the podcast, the Beats and Speaks podcast, and Yo Nostalgia. Links down below. Follow along on social media at Lee T. Dickey. Links also down below. Thank you all again for watching. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe one last time. I've been Lee Dickey. This has been another episode on Lee Dickey TV and my official website, LeeTDickey.com. Till next time, thank you all for watching, and we will see you in the next one. I'm Lee Dickey, and I am signing off. Peace.